welcome back so in the previous lecture we done with the session on how to download the file internal table to text file now we'll see we'll learn how to upload the file okay so what i will do i will create here radio buttons on the selection screen selection screen skip okay i will give the parameters here like p r underscore dnd radio button group grp dnd for download and r underscore gpd upload radio button group grp okay let's give me the text first upload file and here download file okay fine we can see two radio button so now to upload the file on the selection screen will require one more option right to select the file which you want to upload so for that first here add a parameters give the name here as p underscore file type there is one standard data element local file okay see this file is different and the type of this file is different this is string okay the same string type is used in upload as well as download but on the selection screen to upload a file we have to make use of this data element now if i okay first assign the type text here assign the text file name okay so now if you see here you can see the file name okay but there is no option to select to search the file browse the file right so we'll assign that option here so for that what we have to do here in the event block we have to write at selection screen on value request for p underscore file means when we place f4 here on this field this block will get executed and now here go to pattern and here enter one f4 underscore file name function model okay pass here and in the importing parameter we have to pass our selection screen field save check and activate now if i execute see now i am able to see the path here f4 if i click f4 i am able to select the file right so from the desktop like i can select my files i will go to this file i can select any one okay the first step is done now we have two radio button right download and upload so here what i will do simply if r underscore dnd is not initial this means that if first radio button is selected perform this download activity else end if upload activity okay perform upload only upload let perform upload okay so i will double click here <coughs> yes create the subroutine in the same program very first point is i will write here if p underscore file is not initial is not initial my file must not be initial right else and if i will give the message i will give the message select the file for upload select the file for upload save check and activate okay so now if i select this radio button if i press f8 see system is giving the error message select the file for upload okay so now see what i am going to do i am uploading the same file which we have downloaded 
okay so we know the number of columns 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 and 10 okay here you can see the net amount and the tax amount so we total 10, 10 columns so because i am doing in the same program so i don't have to create the internal table again because i know the file which i am going to upload the format is matching with my internal table okay so if you are not working on the downloading part if your task is only to upload okay so you should know the format in which you are giving uh, you are getting the data based on that format first create a type declaration then an internal table this will really be first step because i am doing all in the same program so i am using the same internal table structure okay now come here see as i mentioned this p file is of different type and we have one more file type here as a string because the gi download upload required the variable of this type only okay so what we have to do here we write here lv underscore file equal to p underscore file now this time second function model pattern gi underscore upload reverse of previous one file name lv underscore file ascii has the field separator yes it has a field separator and the internal table in which we want data so our internal table is gt underscore invoice always open the exceptions okay and now here we'll we'll display the data so i will use cl demo underscore output one static method is there display gt underscore invoice save check and activate okay so let me set a breakpoint here <coughs> execute second select the second radio button click on f4 i will select my file okay first i'm selecting second file which contain only two records upload execute the breakpoint is triggered if you see here now there is no record zero record okay i'll press f6 see size of rc equal to zero and in gt underscore invoice table beautiful see now we can see two records here one two date customer id post nar okay net wr and tax amount fine now i will just press f8 see you can see the output how easy it's very simple okay just we know we should know the concept now what i will do i will remove the black point now this time i will select the first file which contain the 54 record if i execute see the output okay So in this way, we are done with this lecture also. First, we will learn how to download the data by selecting data from database table in an internal table, we download it to local machine. And after that, the second scenario, we will learn how to upload the data back to SAP system. And once you have your data in the internal table, suppose as I explained, you might be working in data migration project. Okay, you want to create purchase order. The first task is get the data in the internal table. Once you have your data in the internal table, then you can perform the further activity. Okay. If you go through my BDC session, you'll come to know. So the first task is to upload the data. Once you have data, then perform BDC, whatever you want. If you want to just upload the data in a Z table, you can just write the logic to upload the data in the Z table. As this session, I'm just explaining how to work with files. So I'm focusing only on that part, how to download, how to upload on local machine. Next, we are going to learn how to upload the data on the application server. Okay, so once you have data in internal table, based on your requirement, you can perform any further operations. 
So in this way, we're done with the session. Thank you.